chart, cell selection, practice. Sometimes the hardest part is knowing which of those cells to select. We'll practice that in this video. I'm teaching you a set of steps here to analyze, to, to choose the cells. Well, first you have to ask the question, but you already saw that in the other video, right? You watched the other video, right? So we'll do these three steps in order. Step one, are you wanting the insides, the data, or do you want the totals? Decide which thing you need. You don't get both. You get one or the other. Step two, what headers will you need? The headers are going to be what shows along the x-axis to identify each of the columns, bars, whatever you use. Okay, and then which details or which data, which cells will you select to support that? So that's the order. And we're going to do the same thing five times with five different charts. Just so you know, sometimes the, the planning doesn't always work out. So I forgot to tell you this one really important part till I got way down to the end of the video. I said, oh my goodness, I forgot to include that. I have to figure out what to do with it. I'm going to leave that in so you can see the thinking process, but I did come back and I'm fixing it. There's a fourth thing you need to know. When you're selecting the cells, you must select the same number of cells, whichever direction you're selecting, you must select the same number each time. You can't have like three here and four there, or two here and three here. It doesn't work. Your chart, you can't make the chart that way. You have to have the same number of cells selected each time, which is frequently why we have that cell A3 that's empty, is just to make it balance out. Okay, now keep listening and listen for me when I say, oh no, it, I left it in just for fun. Selections. Okay, here's the first one. What were the sales for our three sales outlets? It didn't say totals, so I'm going to say it's not totals. It's the insights, the data. Now, the question could have been worded differently, or maybe it's ambiguous, but we'll do it like this. What were the sales for the three sales outlets? So we want the data, the insights. We, for our headers, we said for the three sales outlets. So we're going to have to select the outlet name so they'll show up on the chart. And then we want the sales for our three. So all of the equipment categories, the four equipment categories. All right, we're going to hop over to the Excel spreadsheet and do it together. And I would like to apologize to you because I, I wish I could get rid of all this stuff at the top there. but when I zoomed in, it showed, and this is the online version, so eh, whatever, we'll work with it. But if you're doing it at home with me, you know, the link is in the description, you can you can choose. So wait, wait, what was it we, we wanted here now? We wanted the sales for the, all the sales for the three sales outlets. So it's the data. First, we're going to choose the outlets. I'm going to click and drag. You usually always include A3 in there, even though it's empty. Select the three outlets. That's the name I chose to call them, just so we know what we're talking about, okay? Now I'm going to, whichever handed you're driving your mouse with, press down and hold the control key, and then we wanted to know We want the insides for this, and we want all four categories of the equipment categories, and we want all three outlets. So that's the insides. All right, I'm going to start with A3 like usual. You don't put the title in your selection. You make it by hand when you're done. So I'm going to click and drag. Doesn't matter if you do go across and down or down and across or diagonally, I'm going diagonally. So. All of the sales, so we got all four categories, for our three sales outlet of mail order, telephone, and web, and that's uh, what we selected. Then we'll go ahead and insert the chart, but that's not on this video. This video is just showing you what, how to select the cells. Okay, we'll go back and do number two. Number two, what were the total sales, total sales 
for our three sales outlets. So we got those one, two, three on the side, and we're getting the totals. And the headers are going to be the the three outlets. And then we're going to have to go get that totals column way over there on the other side. Oh, great. Here we go. I deselected. I clicked on another cell to deselect from the other ones. And I want to know for the three sales outlets. So I select the three. And whichever index finger you're not using to drive your mouse, press down and hold the control key. Hold it. Hold it. And then we want to know the total sales. So we're going to come over to the other side to the totals column and select the three sets of totals. Let both fingers up. Now I want you to notice, I can, um, just a second. You didn't even know I was gone, did you? But I turned on the Zoom It program. That will help me show you. If you see my other, other uh, I just deselected. In my notes, I said, that the last, the first cell of the last column, row, whatever, set you select will look different from the others. So I'm selecting again. I did A3 to A6. And now I pressed down my control key and I selected this set. Now all of those are, mm, I'll say gray, I don't know, some color. But look at this F123, F3 total. You see here it has a little box around it. In the installed version, they're all more gray. And the one, that one, that's the first cell of the last set you select, it's um, not, not grayed or not shaded. Whereas this one, it kind of puts a box around it. Doesn't matter, just so you know. The other thing, I forgot to write that. So I have to write that somewhere. Oh dear. I don't want to make the video again. Anyway. You have to have the same selections every time, the same number of cells every time. You can't have three cells here and four cells there. They have to be the same every time or the whole thing won't work. So I have to write, the, where am I going to write that? I'll think about that while we're doing the next example. Example number three, what were the total sales for each category, so that's the equipment category, so the total sales, so we have four categories of equipment, so we know we're going to need those titles, the headers, and then the total sales, so that's going to be not this stuff in the middle, but this set down here at the bottom, so we're going to select those and, and these, okay, let's, let's go do that. We want the totals for the categories, totals for the categories. Well, we have this word total down here at the bottom on this one, and we want those in. So I'm going to start here with the totals, and I'm going to, even though it's A3 and it's empty, they have to be the same number of selections, cells selected each time. I'm going to select the four categories, press down the control key and hold it, and then select the totals. Let both fingers up. And now when I draw the chart, I'll get whatever kind of chart I get. Well, probably a clustered column chart. I'll have the four categories with the totals. That's all that's going to show up. Here we go. Next one coming up. Example number four. What were the sales, so they didn't ask for totals, okay, sales by outlet for monitors only? So we want to have the insides, but we want monitors column only, and we want the three outlet types. So we're going to have the three outlet types in the monitors column. Okay, all right, let's go do that. We want monitors only. And it's the data, the insides, not the totals. Right? So I'm going to start by um, selecting my headers, which are the three outlets. And I took the A3 because I have to come over in here and get monitors. 
So select the three, select those, press down and hold the control key, select the monitors, same number of cells in both set, and then I can go ahead and draw my chart. Number five, what were the sales, again, not totals, but the insides, huh? by category for, oh, hit this category, category for the web outlet only. So we're going to have the, the category names across the top, and then we'll select the web outlet at the bottom. Um, not the totals, but the, the row of the web outlet. Sales by category for the web outlet. Okay, here we go. So I need to put web outlet in here into my chart. So that means I have to start with A3, so they'll balance. So we'll select the four categories, press down and hold the control key, and then we'll select the web outlet. So we have sales by category for the web outlet. So it's not so bad. You have to practice a couple of times. We'll give you some more practice assistance.